we got a chance to um, sit with um, Kendrick Lamar's uh, latest uh, video and, and uh, song selection. Yes. Um, I thought it was very powerful. I know that's probably like one of the trending topics right now. So we we'll break the show open talking about that briefly. I thought it was really powerful. Um, Kendrick has always been thought provoking when it comes to how he delivers his rhymes. Mm-hmm. Um, but the message for me, I, I, I told you, I was sitting there watching the video, which I'm like, oh, this yeah. is fire. And mm-hmm. I'm sitting here going through my head like, OK, yep, I'm about to send a text. I'm about to send a text. <laughs> Kendrick, we need you to come on the show, bro. If you can hear us right now, we want you on the show, bro. We want to discuss what is good. What is good? Absolutely. (laughs) Definitely what's good. And um, you just want to, you know, hear hear about the inspiration behind the track. Um, He he spoke boldly to the culture, uh, specifically the urban community, Mm -hmm. black community, however you want to word it. He was very specific saying, listen. There's a lot of toxic, toxic things that go on within our culture that we celebrate that we should not celebrate. Right, At least that's right. what I got out of some of it. Uh, what's your what's your thoughts on it? Oh, man, he just told the truth. Exactly what you're saying. Like this is part five, and so the face that he morphed into, he, mm-hmm. you know, when he was rapping, and I didn't know it until I started reading it that you know he was rapping from that perspective or in that context, and I that is dope in itself but i love how he's saying something's got to change you know it's overdue i mean it's overdue and i think some christians settle on this well it's always going to be like this and it's like yeah but you know what we we still can make some changes in this earth you know we can Mm -hmm. we can do better